Today's show is sponsored by Super Burger, located within walking distance from the school along West Main Street. Super Burger is home to the Triple Nuke. Stop by after school and enjoy the Triple Nuke and free Wi-Fi to do your homework with. PHS News Today for Friday, September 25th. The scheduled Health Occupation Students of America pizza, fun pizza fundraiser for today has been rescheduled due to the school menu serving pizza today. We will be having pizza on a later date. PHS News Today went around and asked students about Saturday night events. Here's what they found. Uh, I heard about it, but I didn't really know much about it. Um, no. I had no idea about it. Mr. Johnson made everyone aware with his staff-wide email of the lunar eclipse of the moon, uh, which was going to take place, so it should be very interesting as to what's going to happen. And it's much earlier in the evening than what we anticipated, so. Um, if you want the truth, probably not. I think so. The first times that I looked at I thought that it was happening at 2 o'clock in the morning. In that case, I would have said no but I believe it's supposed to happen here around Paoli, anywhere between 10 and 11 p.m. So yes, we do plan on watching it. There will be a fan bus going to the game tonight, leaving at five. If you would like a free ride to the game, sign up for the fan bus in the office. Already thinking about lunch? Check out the cafeteria serving up today. And now to Anna with your Ram Sports Report. Hi, I'm Anna, and this is your Ram Sports Report. In action last night, the high school cross country team hosted the Paley Invitational last night. Congratulations to the cross country teams for their finishes in their own individual times. The boys placed fifth. Blake Roberts finished 15th, Jared Hurd 26th, Blake Terrell 28th, Landon Tharp 35th, Jacob Babcock 40th, Landon Chastain 44th, Damon Ingle 54th, and Seth Hackney finished 15th in the boys' open race. Rachel Umpleby led the girls' team with a third-place finish. Avery Rogers placed 13th, Allie Kirby 18th, and Michaela Robbins 23rd. The JV volleyball team beat Borden last night in two sets. Hannah Milburn had seven aces to lead the Lady Rams. Whitney Cho also had five aces in the win. The varsity volleyball team defeated Borden in four sets. Clara Cornwell led the serving game with five aces, and Bella Brewster added three aces. Keaton Chessine had 16 kills and three solo blocks. Claire Cornwell added nine kills, and Ashley Archer had seven kills, and Anna had six kills for the night. Madison Street had 35 assists and 10 digs for the Rams, and Claire Cornwell also had 10 digs for the Rams. Ashley Archer had seven digs, Bella Brewster had six digs, and Amber Smith had five. The varsity tennis team fell to Lagodi, zero to five. In junior high sports, both the 7th grade and 8th grade volleyball teams fell to Shoals. The 7th grade football team fell to the Senators last night, while the 8th grade came out victorious over West Washington. In action tonight, the varsity football team will be traveling to Cordon Central tonight. The game begins at 7. Come support all your Rams in action. Back to you, Allie. The volleyball program will be selling the quarter zip pullovers. They will be Heather Purple and have a P on the left chest. They are selling for $35. There are samples of the pullover hanging up in the office. And now to Ian Water with your weather report. So today we have some showers off to the south down here. It's going to push up and probably hit us maybe later today during the game. So maybe you might want to bring an umbrella for later tonight. Weather today, we have a high of 81. And tonight's low is 57. I'm giving you today a 10 because it's cool and we still have a Rams game tonight. Saturday's high is 75 with a low of 56 and Sunday's high is 81 with a low of 59. 
And we have the weather fact of the week is that the world's high, hottest temperature was recorded on July 10th, 1913 in Libya and was 134 degrees. Back to you, Allie. Allie, and that's your PHS News today. Have an Allie amazing day.